This video, we're going to set up iPerf3 as a server running in a Docker on our Synology NAS. It's just one video in a series of videos for testing your, your network. There's another video, you can see that right here, where we're going to build iPerf3 as a client running on a Raspberry Pi. The reason we're going to put it on the Raspberry Pi is we're also going to create a scheduler, stick it in our network, let it run all day long, and periodically test the network, re record that data, and then graph it over time. But for this video, we're going to do the server. Let's jump into the DSM of the Synology now. Here we are in our Synology NAS DSM. We're going to go over to the Docker. We had a couple containers already running. We're going to head over to the registry where we can search for iPerf3. A list of them comes up. Uh, the top one, Network Static, iPerf3 is the most popular with 77 stars. So let's just download that. Download is running. As that file is downloading, just like to make a comment. If you find this video interesting or helpful, consider giving us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate it. Check out the other videos in our network testing series too. All right, that file's done. Let's jump down to it. There it is. Click on it and hit launch. Container name is anything that you want to create. Uh, I will stick with the iPerf3. Oh, you know the one is there because we already had this running in a test setup. We don't need to execute the container with a high privilege. No reason for that. This is a very low processor intensiveness. Uh, Enable resource limitations, also not something that we need to worry about. Let's head into the advanced settings. Enable auto restart is important for us. If the DSM restarts, if the Docker stops, you want it to restart so that the server is always sitting there running, quietly in the background, listening for clients calling in. So it's important to have auto restart on. We don't need to do anything with our volume. We don't need to, for network, we're going to come down to use the same network as the Docker host. That means that we don't do anything with our port settings, our links, and here we see our environment. So the entry point is iPerf3, but iPerf3 could be used as either a server or a client. So it's kind of important that we add something to the command, uh, have a complete command. If you just let it run now with iPerf3, you're going to see it just launches and then fails because you haven't given it enough information. So in the command, we want to add a, dot, a dash s and that's it that the entire command you'll see in a second becomes iperf3 dash s which says start run as a server sit there listening for clients to call to call in hit apply and next review our settings everything looks good and that's it and we go back up to overview we're going to see that within a second or so that uh, server is going to be up and running Looks like it already is. Run over to our container. Double click on it. Head over to log. And we can see it is up and listening on port 5201. So it's just sitting there waiting. All right, we're going to try that again. I had a little problem with OBS recording my desktop. I checked the video and I only had uh, half of my screen. I don't know what happened. So we're going to try it one more time. You're going to see some other results in the iProf test. So here we have uh, the command prompt up. I'm in the directory, directory where I've downloaded and installed iperf for Windows. And it's simply just typing the command iperf3-c to be a client, and then the IP address of where your server is listening. In our case, it's 192.168.10.20. Hit enter, and the test will initiate a connection and then run. As you can see, we're getting about 895, 900 megabits per second, nearly gigabit speeds from my laptop through a couple of switches to my server and back. That test has run. We can go back over to our Synology NAS and let's refresh the screen by just clicking away and then clicking back onto the log. And there you go. There's the results of our last test. Logged into the Synology, uh, Synology Docker running iPerf and it's sitting there listening for the next connection. So this, this Docker is going to run. It's the great thing about it is that it does it without involving your ISP or internet service provider. If you use a website such as speedtest.net or fast.com, you're testing your entire network from your computer out through your modem 
to the cloud servers and back. And if you have slow results, you're not quite sure, is that internal to your network or outside of your network coming from your ISP? iPerf tests internal segments from your client to your server, wherever they are set up inside your network, which can be just one small piece of your network or the entire width of your network and show you actual speeds of data transfer over your internal network. It's really great tool for narrowing down is the problem inside my network or out with my ISP. I think that's been a big concern lately. Plenty of people working from home, schooling from home, and a considerable amount of slowdown. Is your problem your network or is your problem with your ISP? We're going to help you learn how to use this tool to determine exactly where that problem lies. It's that simple to set up iPerf3 as a server running in a Docker on your Synology NAS. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, a like, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.